Some tablets, though, Mila. Now, a lady whose second album was entitled The Wendy Experience. Let's hope we get that Wendy Experience tonight with ukulele girl Wendy King. Here she is. Yeah. You went for it there, girl. You came oh, down yeah. with a skip, didn't you? <laughs> That's all right, sit yourself down. OK. Now, uh, before we start, Wendy, um, where are you from, Wendy? From Leeds, Yorkshire. Yeah, and uh, the, the ukulele. This, yeah. uh, can you tell us a bit about that? Is that? Well, this is a Ludwig ukulele. Actually, yeah. I've got two. They like the, the, the top... Stradivarius of... Banjos, ukulele yeah. Ukulele banjos, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, you, 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 you've got the strad there. Now, you, now, there's a story that you... you Went for an audition for, uh, mm -hmm. for Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? What happened? What happened? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, it was 1979, and um, I read an article in the paper that Andrew, no, sorry, Cameron McIntosh was putting on a show called Cats. Now, I didn't know what Cats was, what it was about, anything at all. That he would be having auditions later on. So I wrote to Cameron Mackintosh. Now, at the time, I was married. I'm divorced now. I'm free. But at the time, I was married. And. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I read about this cat. So I wrote to Cameron Mackintosh, knowing nothing about the cats or what it was about or anything, to say, uh, when you have these auditions, please could you see me because, you know, I'd be marvellous and, and I'd be wonderful for the part. At the time, I wasn't working at all. And maybe nine months later, I got a phone call and it was Cameron McIntosh office saying to me, would I come down to London to audition for this Cats? Well, I was terrified. So I don't know anything about Cats, what it's about, or anything. Are you falling asleep or what? No, no, I'm listening, love. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to interfere with the story, you see. Well, you're not, are you? <laughs> <laughs> not yet, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we get into the theatre, and there was, like, loads and loads of men in the dressing room, and they kept going in and coming out, and going in and coming out. <laughs> And they all seem to be singing my way. Yeah. <laughs> what, mean, they're all doing my way. They were all doing my way. I thought, what, they all singing my way for? It's boring. Yeah. And then what happened? <laughs> well, keep going, love. Anyway, then it was my turn, and I was still shaking like this. Right? All right, Wendy King. So I walked in, and they have a case here. Ay, ay, ay. And don't forget this, I haven't a clue what Cats is about. I don't know nothing, yeah? And I walk in, like this. Wendy King, and I walk in, and there's, there's like a, a table in front of me, and, and there's like um, Tim Rice. Let's say you're there. Tim Rice. I'm yeah. Tim Rice. You could yeah. be Tim Rice. No, well, no, it wasn't me, no. Tim Rice was over there. <laughs> there, was, right. there was Cameron McIntosh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Tim I'm Rice. Andrew Lloyd Webber. You can right. be who you want. That, <laughs> Julian Lynn. Yeah, yeah, and then two other people. <laughs> and then there was a pianist, you see. So don't forget, already about like, 10 or 12 people have been in and out of this room. Yeah. Right? Are you with me? Yeah. So I walk in. <laughs> I, put the, <laughs> I put the uke down and I say, like, excuse me a minute, this is still this team sitting here. Yeah. Right. So I go, I'll give you three bars and then you'll all come in with me. This right. is to, like, Tim Rice, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Cameron McIntosh. <laughs> when I'm cleaning windows... That was it. So... <laughs> no, that wasn't it. I mean, think about... <laughs> It ain't no sense <laughs> sitting on the fence. And I had them singing it. I had Cameron McIntosh singing all by yourself in the moonlight, Sarah. And I mean, this is catch, think about it. Midnight. And I'm singing Lean on the lamppost. So they're looking down the youth. And they're looking at me like you. By the way, if you just tuned in, the Queen's abdicated. <laughs> 
Excuse me, Wendy. Excuse me. It's just, it, it's, it's part of a series. You see it in eight parts. <laughs> and what we're doing is we're shooting it in one go. I don't know the audience has to sit here and listen to it, but you see it over eight Ooh. weeks. <laughs> I'm mean, sticking this. I'm just sticking this. Come have a listen. <sighs> right. Now, you know the story so far. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Okay, Wendy. All right. Okay, just carry on from where you left off. But where did he you go? You just listen and, you know, just, just <laughs> carry on. Where are you going? Look, I, so, uh, I've, I've, I've got to go and see somebody. No, I'll got, be back. Got... <laughs> carry, on. carry on, Wendy. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a lay down behind it. <laughs> What's, what's, son, what's your name? David. David, yeah, go on. Good luck, good luck, son. <laughs> keep going, Wendy, keep going. I'll tell you what, Dave, great interviewer. <laughs> Is there a doctor in this? Yes, come on. Carry on. You'll feel better soon. Have we forgot past the Second World War yet? Eh? It might be the Third World War. Oh, you crack me up, you. I'm just tuning in, Dave, for that one line. I think it may be the Third World War. <laughs> to cut a long story short, and I should have... <laughs> What'd you say? I said, I'm glad you're doing this, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You're taking over from there. <laughs> Do hard hearted Hannah, which I didn't get to do. They said, We've seen enough now, dear. I said, Oh, I thought, have I got it then? Uh. Like, the passing cat, she said, um, Just stand back, dear, and do step kick. So I said, What? I said, <laughs> Step kick. Step, step kick. kick. Oh, right. What are you talking about, step kick? What are you talking about, step kick? Is what what I mean. step kick? <laughs> <laughs> this lady, she was. <laughs> called Gillian Lynn and apparently she's a very 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 famous photographer not photographer it's like calling the Pope a Formula One racing driver <laughs> oh, so I said to her <laughs> What are you talking about? She said, I'm really sorry, dear, but if you're not a trained dancer, um, we can't use you. So I said, oh, does that mean I haven't got it then? And she said, yeah. So I took my uke and I said, uh, oh, all right then. And that was it. And I walked out. But backstage... <laughs> now, don't worry. Now, if you're watching... Dave, I'll be back. <laughs> Dave, I'll be back. <laughs> Give him some water. Right. Is there anybody still there? Yeah, no. <laughs>
if she's watching, will you tell her I can do it now? Oh, you can. <laughs> well, can you do something else for us? Yes, well, I'll, I'll you move. You go and yeah. sit down, Dave. Thanks, Ronald. That's my Dave. Dave, you go and sit back. You sit yourself down. Go. Can't move this out of the way for you. You don't need that anymore. <laughs> there you go. All right. So, Wendy, would you would you like to play play the ute for us? No. Step <laughs> kick. <laughs> no. All right. Why don't you go over and get yourself ready? And I'll introduce you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Wendy do. King. There we are. Wendy. There you go. To take you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, singing ukulele girl. Here's Wendy King. Here she is. Swanee River, so very classy at the shaking of a jazzy is the ukulele girl. Captivating, fatal, fascinating smile, hammered style. Oh no, soon we it ain't no clue why the fans go crazy when she grabs that you. To pay for your admission, I'm a new renovation with the ukulele. To the ragtime Alexander's down in Honolulu, every little pseudo like a, a ukulele girl. They clap their hands, they shout for more and more. How much more? That jungle voodoo, do it does not compare with what this gal has got. It's not so very tragic, there's nothing like the magic of the ukulele. 